Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men find the women of their dreams by teaching them how to approach women with confidence. Now, gentlemen, this video is about the four keys to getting that second date. So you'll want to listen to this video if you happen to be a guy. Maybe you're getting dates, but you just somehow can't seem to get that second date. So there's four keys to this. It's very, very simple. So please listen. The first thing is that when we speak to a woman, especially if it's somebody we just met, then we want to speak to her emotional side. And gentlemen, I've got several videos here on YouTube where I talk about how to speak emotionally to a woman, how to capture her emotions, the essence of who she is. So that way, that will create the connection. So number one, speak to her emotions so that you can connect. Now, mind you, when you connect and you're speaking to her emotion and you're asking her very pertinent questions about her and her life, there becomes this attraction. So again, guys, speaking to her emotion will help you connect and then that will help her be attracted to you. Once you've attracted her attention this way, that will lead to more curiosity. She's gonna be more and more interested in what you have to say. And by the way, guys, got great videos out there about zipping your lip and not talking and especially not over talking about yourself. Remember, in order to sell yourself, you have to be curious about her. And when you've attacked, when you've attached your questions to her emotions, and you've created that connection, which then in turn becomes an attraction. That attraction then turns into curiosity, which is the fourth key. She's going to be curious about you, and she's going to want to know more. So let's give you a real life example of this. If you met a woman online, or it's a blind date because your neighbor introduced you to his little sister, or it could be that you met organically at a grocery store, and now you're going to go meet for coffee. You're a little nervous. Yes, you might get a little sweaty. The palms might get a little clammy. And you sit down, and you want to ask her pertinent questions about herself. One of the simplest ones is, gosh, Susan, what do you like to do on your days off? Gosh, Susan, what do you do for a living? Gosh, Susan, do you what do you like to do in the evenings after you get home from work? Whatever those question is, guys, you want to start connecting with her emotionally. And then when you've connected emotionally, she'll say, oh, gosh, that's very nice, Patrick, that, that you'd ask such interesting questions. Don't talk about yourself. If she asks you a question, answer the question. Now you've got a connection. She's going to become more and more attracted to you as you get more and more curious about her. Remember, emotions lead to a connection. Connection leads to an attraction. The attraction leads to curiosity. And when you piqued her curiosity and she wants to know about more about you, that's when your date ends and you ask her on that second date. Susan, I'm sorry, I've got to run to another meeting. Would you mind if we continue this conversation, say over dinner? Simple line, guys, this is not difficult. You guys can do it. I've got confidence in you. You've got confidence in yourself. Go out there and knock them dead. Get that second date with the woman that you really, really like. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I've got some great videos on my channel that will help teach you how to build confidence, how to attract women, how to approach women, and hopefully find the woman of your dreams. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you next time.